everybody what's up it's kiki and i am coming at you guys today because i was asked to keep all my empties and show products that i've used up and i do like to watch these type of videos so i said i will show you guys the things that i have been collecting and i never thought to do these type of videos before i would always just throw away the things that i've used up but i started collecting them and i think i have enough stuff to show you guys so i need to get rid of this bag so before i start collecting bugs <laughs> trying to hold on to this empty garbage so I want to show you guys some of the things that I've used up and let you know if I would repurchase them or if I have repurchased them or if I'm like over it so, so I finally used up all of my coconut oil um, I showed you guys that I purchased one already before I finished using this but I finally scraped the bottom scraped all of it out and I am done using this of course I would repurchase coconut oil because I already have you guys don't know don't remember from my haul I purchased this one from Ross for $8.99 and it is by the brand Ativa or something like that but yes I love coconut oil for my hair when I get out the shower I just love coconut oil and I will continue repurchasing coconut oil it doesn't have to be the exact brand but yes coconut oil have repurchased it and will continue to repurchase it. I have a swab conditioner here and I have many swab conditioners. I actually really like these conditioners. This is the bigger bottle. This one was in the almond shea butter conditioner. It really doesn't matter which one it is. I'm still gonna purchase the um, swab professionals conditioner. So this one I actually did like, I will repurchase this. This is the moisturizing one. I would definitely repurchase this one again, as well as any of the other ones. And I don't use this on my own hair. I use this on my wigs and my weaves, but not on my natural text lax hair. Don't use it on for that. I just use it for my extensions. So this is my second bottle I think I've used of this. And this is the ORS Olive Oil Replenishing Conditioner. I love this conditioner. I purchased the big one. I've used that. I've purchased like the small ones. Used these a couple times. So yes, definitely love this and will continue to purchase it. I've tried other conditioners, but I haven't fallen in love with any of them like I did with this. So this is definitely a repurchase. I've already repurchased it and I will continue to repurchase this. For body, the Olay 2-in-1 Jojoba Extract Luscious Orchid Essential Oils Ribbons Body Wash. Really like this. Um, the scent. I got over it really quick so I probably won't buy the scent again but I will definitely buy more of this body wash this 2-in-1 Olay body wash I will buy more of this but not the scent I like the scent when I first bought it but you know using it every night mm -mm, mm -mm. I got over it real quick but definitely enjoyed this it definitely lathers really really good and it had my skin really really soft so another body wash this one is from Victoria's Secret and it is Midnight Dare it's a little bit running down the sides now, but when I tried to get it out in the shower, nothing would come out. But um, yeah, this one is Midnight Dare Raspberry and Sandalwood scent. And I really like this one. Let me see if I would buy it again. No, I'm over the scent, so I went and repurchased this. But at the time that I got it, I liked it. But yeah, I'm over the scent, so I went and repurchased this. I don't even know if they still have this scent anyway, but I've used up quite a bit of the Bath and Body Works soaps, but I really like the scent of this one. And this one is in the Sweet Pea Gentle Foaming Hand Soap. Really, really like this one. I don't know if they still have it, but if they do, I'm definitely going to get another one because I really like the smell of this one. In a Mac video, I showed you guys these wipes, but these are the Ole Henriksen Brightening Wipes. And I thought they were like a toner kind of wipes, but I think they're makeup removers. I don't know. So I won't be repurchasing them. I actually did repurchase them before I realized I've used both of them and I will not be repurchasing these they leave like a sticky residue on your face so i'm really not interested in that um i tried the neutrogena wipes didn't really like these either so i won't be repurchasing these i tried the simple wipes they feel like i'm wiping my face with water i guess that's what it's supposed to feel like but it's not really removing the makeup so i won't repurchase those either but i threw those away but i wanted to mention it because someone asked me have i tried simple wipes and that's what i felt about those you guys know oh all the noise but mac wipes definitely a holy grail love these wipes to death i'm trying to wean myself off of them but they're just amazing wipes and i have repurchased these i'm trying not to repurchase them after that but i mean i haven't find, found any wipes that's better than this so i'm not going to say that i won't repurchase them i just don't want to repurchase them but yes definitely love mac wipes and someone asked me can you back to mac these i am definitely going to be back to macing these i have back to mac mac wipe containers before and I've never had a problem so hopefully they don't give me a problem when I go take these back. Speaking of MAC, I also have a MAC brush cleaner 
and I had this for at least two three years so this was definitely worth it I like to use this like as a conditioner for my brushes I'll shampoo them in peppermint soap or baby shampoo and then I'll use the MAC brush cleaner as a conditioner I have one now next to my sink so I have repurchased it but I have like a spray top on it so that I don't use so much and doing that it lasts me like two to three years so yeah definitely really really like this as a conditioner it's not a must-have but I will repurchase it another Mac item is fix plus um, I do like fix plus I like charge water better than fix plus but I heard that they're supposed to be used for two totally different things but I do like fix plus I have two of the small travel sizes so I will repurchase the small travel sizes I just don't think I'll repurchase the big size again so yeah fix plus another item to back to Mac this is the Mac green gel cleanser this I really really like but I don't think I need it like I found other cleansers that I like better I did just recently purchase the small travel size to keep in my travel bag when I'm traveling because I like how this actually cleans but I don't think I'm going to repurchase the big size I don't think I might but as of now no but I really like it I just found things that I like better speaking of something I like better this is the Estee Lauder Perfectly Clean Splash Away Foaming Cleanser and I really really like this. I will be repurchasing it soon. I just didn't want to purchase it now because I just went to the dermatologist and I was prescribed like four things to use and I like I'm just not going to buy any skincare right now until I get my this adult acne yeah <laughs> under control. Everything that I got from the dermatologist I've been using and it's bringing out more acne but I know that it's purging my skin, getting rid of it to clear it up. So I'm not going to stress it. But yeah, I already know that's why I'm breaking out more now. Yeah, I'm just not going to buy any skincare right now. I'm definitely going to be repurchasing this because this definitely melts all the makeup off your face. You can actually use this and not use a wipe and just get all the makeup off. But I like to use a wipe, then go in with this, then go in with a gentle face wash. I love gentle face washes because I'm scared in the shower that when I'm closing my eyes or soaping my eyes that somebody is, you know, standing behind me or peeking through the curtains. I don't like thinking that somebody is looking at me while I'm taking a shower or washing my face, washing my hair. I like to use anything that's not going to burn my eyes but I can keep my eyes open. I got to see. But this burns. So I'll use this before I get in the shower to get the makeup off. And then once I get in the shower, I'll use like my prescription medicine, um, my prescription wash, or I'll use a gentle wash that doesn't burn my eyes. The L'Oreal youth code texture perfector really like this i like this to use in the daytime before i apply my makeup it just makes my face feel really really smooth and i like that it i just like it i like it in conjunction with the other skincare products that i was using i really liked how this was working on my skin and working on my face as far as the texture so this i will definitely be repurchasing i haven't gotten around to it yet but i will repurchase this another serum is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair and I have repurchased this already and this one is completely empty. This is kind of pricey. I use this one at night. I use the L'Oreal in the daytime but I really really like this. Like I said between this and that I do like the way that the texture of my skin is so this I have repurchased and I will be repurchasing it. My go-to moisturizer is the Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve and between these three I think these are like the perfect combination so I really really love this moisturizer I have repurchased it I also have a backup of my backup so yeah I'm set for this and and we'll continue to repurchase it because I really really like it it's very hydrating on the skin and I haven't found another moisturizer that I like better than this to use daytime and nighttime so yeah if you have something let me know uh, MAC Pro Longwear and NW40 I love this I have repurchased it but I don't know if I'm going to repurchase it. This was part of my holy grail. But I've been using other concealers that I'm really, really loving. So, I don't know. I don't know. I have repurchased it already. So, yeah. But will I repurchase it after that one's gone? Probably. But I've been using other concealers that I really, really like just as much as I like this. And that's scary. <laughs> because I really love this. Yeah. So this is the MAC Pro Longwear in W40. I have this MAC False Lashes Mascara. Um, it was okay. I will not be repurchasing this. Nothing special about the wand. Just a regular wand, regular mascara. I didn't see anything special about it. And no, not going to be repurchasing this. So this is going to be back to MAC and that's it. Another MAC item is the Brack. The Brack. 
is the MAC Brow Pencil Brown Crayon in Stud. This one is done. But this is my holy grail. I'm going to purchase this no matter what. Yeah, I'm going to always repurchase this. I need to purchase one now. I just haven't bought one because I've been using the Anastasia Brow Wiz, which is no comparison to this. But I am definitely going to go repurchase another MAC Stud because it is everything to me. Love this. My Perfect. favorite lip exfoliator. This is from e.l.f. and it is their lip exfoliator. And you guys are probably like, Kiki, it's still some on there. But baby, you can't use this when it get down to this. This thing will cut your lips up. I tried to use this today and my lips was on fire because this thing just sliced my lips all kind of ways. So you can't use it once it get down to like the nub, that little piece left. You can't use that. So you might as well throw this away. Um, I have repurchased it and I will repurchase it. I love how it exfoliates my lips except when it get down to like just plain sugar. Mm -mm. No, don't do that. But yeah, this was $3 from anywhere that sells e.l.f products and I love this and will continue to repurchase it. The Beauty Blender Solid. I used to really really love this and I had already repurchased it and I have some little ones that I got with my 100 point perks from Sephora but I'm not going to repurchase this. As much as I like it I'm not going to repurchase it because for the first time I tried the Beauty Blender Liquid and I actually like how that cleans my Beauty Blenders better than I like the solid cleaning my Beauty Blenders. I like the solid to clean my brushes better but I've been using the peppermint soap so I haven't been using this to clean my brushes. I was using this just to clean my beauty blenders but I actually like how the liquid cleans better than the solid. So I won't be repurchasing the solid. I already have one that I've repurchased but after that one's gone I'm not going to repurchase it. So. And since I showed you guys some of the things that I'm backing to MAC I figured I'll show you these things. They're not empty but I'm going to back to MAC them. First is this Studio Finish Concealer Pot. Um, I've had it for a long time. It's almost empty. Oh yeah it's it's almost empty so this is going back I'm not going to repurchase this because I just don't need it so yeah this is going back to MAC I have a MAC Select Cover Concealer I used to really really love this one to use like as a foundation or just a concealer and powder but um, I'm not going to repurchase this and this one is old real old so I'm just going to back to MAC it and I'm not going to repurchase this one I liked it when I used to use it but I found way things way better so nope won't be repurchasing this these two grease paint sticks from mac um i have a few more paint sticks from mac that are fine but these two are grease paint sticks they're not even a quarter of the way used but they smell so so bad like like cheap old crayons you know like oh my God, this thing stinks so bad. So bad. Like, I would not put this on my face, but it is, it's still pigmented. It still applies well, but it is, oh, it stinks so bad. So, and these are the grease paint sticks that came out with the D-Square Matte Collection. Like, I think I just want to keep it for the packaging, but I won't be using these things. So, I got it in B and V, which was blue and violet, I think it was. And my final thing that I'm going to be back to macking are... If I can even hold them. All these lip glasses because I've had them for a long time. Some of them like are separated. Some of them smell. Some of them not. I, I just had them for a long time and I know that I haven't used these in a long time. So and I know I'm not going to use them. So I'm going to back to back them for a lipstick. And yeah. Color of the day. We got Viva Glam Gaga. Look at this one. Look. Can y'all see that one? Look at, look at that. It's like separated. It looks so disgusting. And this one is Viva Glam Gaga 2. I have this one. If you guys remember this collection. Yeah. They've just had, they old. The Snow White collection. And this used to be like one of my favorite lip glasses. And this is a strange potion. Queen B. I forget what collection this was with. This used to be my favorite. I think this is English Accents. Yep, English Accents from the Liberty of London collection. Like just having these from the collections is nice, but I'm not going to use them and they are not good anymore. So look at this one. This one is all separated. This is Nifet. This is probably like one of my first ones I purchased. Yeah, so I'm just going to back to Mac all of those. Get a few lipsticks and call it a day. So yeah, those are my empties. Let me know if you guys tried any of these things, what your experience was with them. And if you like to see more empties videos from me. So, so I'll know to just store the empties. 
and yeah i love you guys and i'll talk to y'all later bye